Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's hump day for those of you that work a more normal nine to five. For me, this is actually my day off. I work in the hospitality industry. I don't get the normal Saturday, Sunday off. I typically get like a Tuesday, Wednesday off. I have my coffee, I got it from Farmstead, just like I did on Monday. And as you can see, I'm dressed in some workout gear here. And that's because I try to get a workout done on Wednesday. I do that a few times a week. When I lived in New York, I was such a gym rat. I was at Equinox like every day, doing classes, running on the treadmill. When I moved here, I really tried to find ways to not be in the gym. It's beautiful here, and I feel like I'm missing out on something when I'm in the gym and not outside. Instead, I went to YouTube to figure out what the best thing for me to do was. I found that kettlebells were a good fit for me. It was a quick workout, it was efficient, I could do it a few times a week, I didn't need to leave my own home, and I could do it outside pretty much anywhere I was in the world. And that was something that I really learned from Tim Ferriss. I, I believe in what he has to offer if you're not already subscribing to his podcasts or his Five Bullet Friday newsletter. He wrote the four hour work week back in the day. He's just all about life efficiency and really maximizing your time, getting the most out of something, least amount of effort. I like that, I subscribe to that. If you wanna watch me throw some kettlebells and do some squats and things that I can do right in my own backyard, follow along. It always feels so good after it's all done. Obviously, I'm not a fitness instructor or expert, so my form is a little off. Let me just apologize in advance, but I do welcome feedback for those of you experts who are out there because if I'm doing something wrong, I wanna know about it. I, I wanna fix the mistake. I think it's really important to work out. I don't know if you've noticed through my uh, YouTube and my Instagram, but I'm what those would call a healthy eater. So I definitely don't deny myself anything. I don't overindulge all the time, but I'm also never one to like not eat something because it has too many calories. So that's why I think it's like important to work out and I think it's important to move, to exercise, to get out there, go for a walk. You don't have to do weights, kettlebells, just just walk, just move. Anything that gets you up and going. Whew, I'm gonna go shower up, fix myself, and then I have a package that just arrived and I think I'm gonna open it while you guys are here. So I, on Wednesdays, will do sort of an unboxing day where I will sometimes test drive products. And if I like the product, I think it's worthwhile and I think it's worth putting out there. I'll also film a separate video that really deep dives into the product and, and gives you all the pros and cons. You'll be able to find those videos under the playlist called Product Reviews. So today, as I hinted before, I have a little unboxing to do. My friends over at Acme Fine Wines in St. Helena, who I absolutely adore. They gifted me one of their wine clubs to try. Acme is a small, highly curated wine shop. They carry everything from small production boutique wines from California all the way up to the super high premium stuff. I trust them implicitly. They are all former sommeliers and industry professionals and they hand select everything that they bring in. They scrutinize every bottle. They are meticulous about what they sell. They do these monthly wine clubs and as of late I've been, I've been really intrigued by the wine club model. There's a lot of really crappy ones out there and there's a lot of really good ones out there. And at these wine clubs are all different beans, all different price points. They were kind enough to let me try out the Pulse Club, which is three wines sent every month, anywhere between $95 and $110 plus shipping per month. And they also gave me this really cute bag. Alright, so this is the Weekend Air Bag, it's $175. They partner with Panda Vino. I think it's a great idea because they'll fill it with all of your pieces and charcuterie and then wine and just have it ready to go. So it's a great gift. It's a great thing if you're thinking about picnicking. They also ship this, which I think would make a great gift because the bag is actually really good, sturdy quality made by Polis. And gave me this. And I, that's so nice because I actually really love this bag and like its leather handles and I will definitely be using this. Thank you. A couple of things right off the bat, as I'm sure you can imagine, I love. I always love when people put time and energy into beautiful packaging, so I appreciate that. 
Number two, I'm really excited about these wines. These are wines that I've actually never tried before and they're not easy to find. The, the Ludit is something that I'm, I'm familiar with but I've actually never had the opportunity to try so I'm very excited to try that. So I'm gonna taste these wines a little bit backwards because the white and the sparkling obviously needs to be chilled. The red is ready to be tasted now so I'll taste that for you today and then I'll save the other two for the product review later. Stay tuned. This is Carignan from Sardinia, a small island just off the west coast of Italy, south of Corsica. Known for really beautiful sun-kissed wines that have a richness and an elegance, but still like an intense minerality. And this is like the perfect summer red for me. Ooh, that smells so good. Like a lavender bouquet garni, it has just such an incredible herbaceousness to it, but more herbs of Provence, not a, not a greenness to it. This is actually the most expensive wine in the wine club. This is a $62 wine. The other wines are about $20-ish each. So, you know, clearly this is a wine that they felt strongly about putting in the club and, and I can see why. It's just a really delicious, soft tannin, but still has energy and structure and balance. Just a beautiful example of a carrying on. If you are interested, visit acmefinewines.com. I will link everything for you. It's gonna be like the best hundred bucks in a month that you spend. What a wine club like this does is it eliminates all of the work for the consumer and I'm all about that. I think that's great. I think there's integrity behind this wine club. I think they are honestly trying to source the best product for each wine club every single month. Well done. Can't say enough good things. I'm really impressed with this. I love the other two selections and I'm really looking forward to filming a whole video on this whole package.